Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Service. My name is Laura Higgs. Today is April 18th, 2024. And I'm privileged to have here in our chair today, Sandra Dembo, who is here as mm -hmm. chair of the Spring Fling right here in Service. Welcome, Sandy. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> now, so tell me, Spring Fling, what is going on? Spring Fling. Well, several years ago, I'm not even sure of the exact time, we sat around a chamber table and thought we'd like to do something to attract people to our communities. And that was kind of about the time yard sales were sort of getting into swing, so we thought it would be a good idea, and it started out as Spring Fling. But it used to be pretty much just yard sales. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, our businesses, people are coming into town, they're going to the yard sales, but they're kind of skipping the businesses. So over the years, we've started to introduce more fun things for them to do. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, and it's just so evolved, it's evolved from there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Oh, so, okay. So uh, Spring Fling, when is it going to be this year? The 3rd, 4th, and 5th of May. Okay. That's right around the corner. It's the Two April the 18th. Yeah. Away. yeah. Yeah. So we're just kind of finalizing yeah. things right yeah. now. It's been exciting since uh, WCG, we've joined the chamber mm -hmm. to come and sit at the meetings and just hear all of this stuff that's going on uh, in our town. We have a lot of stuff happening. We certainly do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the chamber drives so many events. Absolutely. Yes. Well, our chamber is getting bigger and bigger. It I is. Think, uh, Absolutely. It seems like every month that, we, that we've added new members yeah. to and the I chamber. I just got a brand it's, new member today. Oh, you did? Oh, great. That's <laughs> yeah. very exciting. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit more about Spring Fling. And go ahead and if you've got a list okay, to read, go right ahead. Oh, I have to read some of this. First, that's quite all right. First, tell me uh, who's on your committee. You have a great big committee, okay. right? Yeah, we have a huge committee. There's myself and there's Monique Perry. <laughs> and Monique is very, very familiar with the marketing part For of sure. this. She's event. been in business a long time. She certainly has. So we kind of clicked. Okay. I've always been interested in that. So we just kind of, you know, shoot those ideas off mm -hmm. of each other and it works really well. Great. Yep. Great. Okay. I'm enjoying every minute of it. This is my second year. Wonderful. So share with us what you have. Okay. So there's two days of garage selling. When we originally started, there was only one. But people love it so much, they want to do more. So anyway, um, we would like to... Times will be from 1 to 5 on Friday. So that's the 3rd. And then Saturday from 8 to 2. Now, Sunday, I think we started last year, there's a free day. So any of the participants who want to leave out on their boulevards or their streets if need be. Okay, I mean, well, not leftovers. Not in the middle of the street, but leftovers, mm -hmm. yes, that they don't want to cart back into their house. They are more than welcome to leave them out, and then people can go along and choose what they like. I've done that myself. Works really well. Mm -hmm. One minute you've got stuff out there, the next minute it's gone. Disappeared. Somebody's awesome. using it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And uh, so Saturday we're running from 8 to 2. Um, and when you register, if you would like one day or two, you can let us know. It's $5 total, irregardless of whether you do one or two days. Now, this is for the residential sales. And uh, you can register at LT's Corner Store, or you can come to the post office, and we also have registrations there. So that's outdoor. If you want to do indoor, it's at the community rink downstairs here. And you just contact the rink. Does it, do you want the number? Well, yes, please. Okay. 204-483-5214. Yep. So the cost of the indoor is $10 for one day and $15 for two, two days. Yeah. And also of interest, we're planning to have a few artisans here this year with jewelry, crafts. There's just, last year there was some baking and there'll be more to come. Great. So there are many other events happening in tandem. So Friday is the sales, outdoor, indoor, and the businesses. A lot of our businesses put on different promotions and sales. And there's a barbecue and an open house from 11 to two with Grant Jackson, our Spruce Woods MLA. Everyone invited, bring your appetite. And Saturday, May the 4th, Crescent Cannabis is going to have their grand opening and customer appreciation that day. 
the ribbon cutting is at 1045. There's another barbecue from 11 to 1 that day. Wow. So you won't go hungry that weekend. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. And no purchase is necessary. There will be specials and grab bags. Also that day, the grad class to 2024 is having a barbecue and a car wash fundraiser from 10 to 3 at the Cirrus Fire Hall. Also, Cirrus and Glenwood Community Garden Fundraiser, which is located, the community garden is down in Frog Hollow, mm -hmm. um, behind Cre the creek side. So it's to the west. And they have something planned that sounds really interesting, and it involves chickens. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> do, do we need to so know more? Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, I think they're, they might be selling some plants, I believe, as well. Okay. Okay, that Saturday continued. There's a kids' area in the community rink with bouncy castles, face painting, and some crafts. In addition, we have a few more announcements coming. Some exciting events that we have found, found sponsors for are in the works. A couple of hints. One could put Cirrus on the map as the place to be, and mm. the other could earn you a chance to win $500. Score. So make sure you follow the Chamber page for more details, and of course, advertising and promotions featuring everyone and everything will begin shortly. And if you have an ad or event that you'd like us to promote, please contact us. You can contact me at the post office from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, or Monique Perry at Whitfield Drugs. Is it okay if I say thank you to the sponsors we have so far? Absolutely. And we thank them from the bottom of our hearts because without them, we couldn't do this. We have Glenn Tosh with Royal LePage, Stacy Murphy, Royal LePage, Red Coat Autoglass, Westman Communications Group, Crescent Cannabis, Planet Kia, Tufts Machining, The Recorder, Patterson Media, myself, Sandy Dembo, and Whitfield Drugs. Wow. That's great. Yeah. And great list there. we still have a few more coming in. So Good. We just, Good to hear. We do thank them sincerely. Now, is there a flyer or a map people can pick up? To... Oh, yes. Okay. Um, we haven't quite finalized the maps, but they'll be found um, because we're still taking registrations mm -hmm. for the yard shows. Sure. But this year, somehow there's some, been some issues with Google Maps. Oh. So this year we're asking people to put their, they have a number when they register. And so we want them to put that number pinpointed on the map that we've provided. Okay. Um, and, um, and then you'll print that out. And then and we'll have... print it out. Okay. Now usually the maps are ready, I'm going to say Thursdays, but I'm not entirely sure. But they will be located at various businesses around the community. Okay. Yeah. LT's Corner Store usually LT's, has them. Um, we have them at the post office, mm -hmm. Whitfields, um, just depending on who offers to sure. carry them. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And then there will be, they will be online as well. Okay. Yep. That's good. So yep. what, where can they catch that online? Do you have a okay. one website they can go to for that? Well, or maybe can, a Facebook page? You can go to Cirrus and Glenwood um, Chamber Facebook. There you yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You should be able to find any okay. information That's that great. you need on there. That'll help us out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We're, Great. We're very excited. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It does bring a lot of people to our town. It's a very busy day. Oh, days, I know. I should some, say days. Some of the locals, some of us do tend to grumble a little bit when you treat. And there's a few who just decide to stay home, but yeah. everybody's having fun. Yeah. And so. let the let I our mean, tourists come yes, in. Well, yeah, yep, exactly. I don't mind that one bit. Open the town. Yeah. yeah. If I don't need anything at yard sales, I stay home and let them have the yeah, roads. Let them have fun. Because it's really it's a lot slower to move around in Cirrus when all the oh, tourists are here. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But so but, far I haven't heard of any accidents. So no, no, and but it brings us it brings us business to oh, our town. Huge, and people who, huge. who who love all the stuff that we offer here in Cirrus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, our restaurants, our retail businesses, mm -hmm. they pick up, you know, buy their gas and yeah, mm -hmm. all sorts of items. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we truly appreciate them. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sandy, and you and your whole committee, Monique. Yeah. <laughs> we really appreciate your efforts that you're putting in, well, and I appreciate your time coming in today to tell us more about the spring fling here in Surrey. Thank you, Laura. I really, truly appreciate you allowing us to do this. No worries. No word. worries. We'll make sure this gets out on your Facebook page, too. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you.
Thank you so much for joining us here at Spotlight and Service. I hope you have a great rest of your week.